Bone chilling cold on the way for Friday and Saturday. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. This is the kind of cold that you really do have to take some precautions, especially given how mild we've been over the month of January here. Don't leave your pets outside. They can get just as cold as we could get if you're going to be outside all day long. Dress in multiple warm layers throughout the day. And if you have any exposed pipes, let that water drip from the faucets a little bit so your pipes don't freeze and burst as we go into Friday and Saturday. Now, here are our temperatures Friday at 8 a.m. This is not that bad, pretty typical for us in early February. Notice those wind chills, though, still in the teens and spots. We are going to drop as we go into the day on Friday. So by Friday at 1230, we're below freezing everywhere. Wind chills in the single digits along and north of the Atlantic City Expressway. And then by sunset or so, wind chills in the single digits everywhere here. Temperatures continue to fall and will continue to get below zero as we go into Friday night and Saturday morning. Negative six in Brick, negative one in Hamilton, zero in Sea Isle. And we're only going to manage wind chills no better than 15 degrees as we go during the day on Saturday. Temperatures will be in the upper 20s for highs, but actually we continue to rise as we go overnight. And then by Sunday, well, we're talking about some spots that will be near 50 degrees. Now, we take a zoom out and you see where this core of the cold is in eastern New England here. I mean, I don't even know what you do with a wind chill of negative 62 they have not seen that kind of cold with the wind chills in a number of years. So, yes, it's further north in Caribou, Maine. But even for them in Burlington, Vermont, that's not something they see every winter. That is unusual even for them. That is truly dangerous cold out there. Will this come with any precipitation? Short answer is more than likely not. The only thing I'm watching for here as we go into the day is do we get a little bit of lake effect in this case, what we call Delaware Bay Effect snow flurries, just like lake effect snow. When you get cold air going over a relatively mild body of water, you can create some precipitation. It's happened before in lower Cape May County. We'll see if we get there on Friday. At the very least, we are looking to see some cloud cover both Friday morning and Saturday morning there. Otherwise, we're just going to be mainly sunny as we go into Friday and Saturday. Some clouds come in Saturday night here and in Sunday should be partly to mostly cloudy. Your dog walk forecast for your Friday, again, not going to be great here. We were saying to leave your pets inside, and that is very true during the afternoon and evening here when wind chills are going to be in the single digits. If you're going to take them out, only do it briefly here. It is going to be cold, and again, those temperatures fall as the day goes on. Friday night lows, how about 13 in Longport and the shore? Talk about Bridgeton and inland areas, only around 11. Wind chills tell the story, though, and we're going to be below uh, zero from about 3 a.m. to 9 a.m., on our Saturday. Saturday's high temperatures are going to be in the upper 20s here. That's about 15 degrees below average for this time of the year. Wind chills no better than 15. But remember, temperatures actually rise into the 30s as we go overnight on our Sunday as winds do turn to the southwest as this high pressure system does move near us and then eventually offshore and brings in that milder air our way. So when we look at our seven-day forecast, this is what we got for you. So we're talking about 28 Saturday, 26 early Saturday evening, and then we rise to 50 by Sunday on a breezy southwesterly wind, and then we kind of get this mild air mass all the way into next week here. Temperatures are going to be seasonable at chilliest. We're talking about 50s for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday here. And look at our overnight lows, 45 on Tuesday night, 47 on Wednesday night here. I mean, you don't even need the heat on at all. You might even leave the windows open a little bit to get some fresh air in, but it does not look like we're going to see any more cold shots beyond what we see here on Friday and Saturday.